talk about fava beans. It's something that most people in the modern world have never even heard of, and yet it's one of the most commonly consumed dishes in the rest of the world. Fava beans, otherwise known as broad beans, are a highly nutritious powerhouse of nutrition that your body needs. These things are amazing. Broad beans or fava beans have been consumed for over 5,000 years, especially in the old world Mediterranean countries like Greece and Rome. This stuff is so powerful. Only a quarter cup of this stuff, quarter cup, contains up to 10 grams of protein. This handful is about 20 grams. Today, this thing is popular everywhere in China, Colombia, Peru, Iran, Thailand, Italy, Arabian countries, Mexico, Portugal, Holland, Pakistan, Persia, Greece, Ethiopia, Nepal, everywhere. But the United States, where nobody even has a clue what this thing is, because the only thing that people consider food in this country is french fries, hamburgers, and cheese tots. <sighs> This thing even protects against malaria because of the oxidative damage it causes to life forms deficient in the glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme. Out of all foods, fava beans are the food with the highest amount of L-DOPA, which acts as a neurotransmitter in the brain, helps control hypertension, and is used medicinally in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. L-DOPA stimulates the pituitary gland to release human growth hormone, or HGH. HGH is the most powerful anti-aging substance known. Anti-aging clinics use it to keep their clients younger and healthier. Human growth hormone keeps everything working smoothly in your body like when you were a teenager. Some bodybuilders pay big bucks to buy HGH on the black market so they can inject themselves with it so they can get big muscles and lose fat and it increases athletic performance and it's just this amazing, amazing stuff, but it has side effects. This doesn't. And ladies, if you have hormone issues or PMS or are going through menopause, listen up. These little things are miracle makers. Since the pituitary gland controls the entire endocrine system, including sex hormones, thyroid, adrenals for energy, the immune system, I mean, you can, you can kind of figure out how magical this stuff is. Uh, it also has B17, known as the cancer-beating vitamin. It's very high in fiber, so it helps move food through your system. It has oleosaccharides, which feed the probiotics in your gut. It has a good amount of potassium, which helps maintain blood pressure and regulate the heart. It has lots of vitamin A for healthy skin, good vision and bone development. It helps lower your cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, the LDL. It's very, very high in protein. This is another great plant that you could grow in your yard or patio. So let's look at fava beans. They come in a huge, they're in the pea family, that's why they look like a big pea pod that's been mutated. Uh, these things are powerful. Because they're so big, they have a lot of growth power. They make you be strong. Now here's what a fava bean looks like on the inside. It's amazing. These things are like in a little jewel case. They have velvet inside them, this real soft velvet. And here's these beans. This is what they look like. It's amazing. Total velvet. And then these, these beans are just beautiful. When you open these things up, you can really feel like the love that nature created these things with. They're on their own little fancy jewel cases. They're starting to show up in grocery stores, especially in more ethnic areas, like where there's Hispanic or Asian or Persian or Middle Eastern. They all know about it, except the modern world. Anyway, but it is starting to show up in health food stores too because people are starting to catch on. Finally, after 5,000 years. <laughs> you can get these powdered, but nothing beats the power of fresh food. Okay, so now we have it out of the pod. Most people like to pop out, pop off the waxy coating of these beans. I don't. Most people like to cook these things, not me. <laughs> I love raw food. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I do this. You can add a bit of olive oil, but if you're anti-oil or you're trying to lose weight, then don't. And then I put in apple cider vinegar. Okay, so now you've got these things totally marinating. Now, I, used, I like to use a hot pepper like a habanero or a serrano. This is a habanero and a serrano is, is a little bit milder, but it's still got some nice zing to it. I put that in there and some onion. Red onion is the best. And garlic. Lots and lots of garlic. Mmm. -mm. A lot of garlic, I know. <laughs> now I just know there's some uptight, left-brained, overthinking people out there who are going, oh, I just heard that garlic and onions are really bad for you. They're toxic and they get in your brain and they make you stupid. 
Do I look stupid to you? You know that the longest living people who live to be like 100, they all have certain things in common and one of them is they eat lots of garlic and onion. All right, that, that, that's my rant. Okay, anyway, getting back on to uh, the recipe. Uh, sea salt. Mm -mm -mm. I like the coarse Celtic sea salt. For some reason it has more power. Even just a few grains gets through everything and gives it a lot of power. Black pepper. Put some of that in there. I love black pepper. So you guys are going, oh my god, that must be really spicy. Look at all that garlic and onion and hot pepper. Well, if you are using olive oil, it tones down the spices. Or you can use an avocado or just use less spices or don't be a wimp. Anyway, so you mix it up. And that's it. You just let it sit there and marinate at room temperature for, you know, four or five hours, whatever. Make it in the middle of the day, eat it at the end of the day. And then, uh, you know, put it in the fridge for after that. And it'll last a long, long time because I don't know if you know this or not, but vinegar is a preservative. So this thing can last a long, long time. Now you can adjust this obviously to more or less vinegar or oil or pepper, salt, hot stuff, whatever it is. You know, it's kind of interesting. There are these bodybuilding supplements out there. They're supposed to be all natural. Here's one, uh, extreme natural growth factor. And uh, the main ingredient in this thing, now how is three little tiny powdered capsules that also contain tri calcium phosphate, gel and silicon dioxide, microcrystalline cellulose, uh, is supposed to be better for you than eating a whole bowl of this. I mean, three little tiny powdered capsules, what's that gonna do? This, a whole bowl of this. This is your dinner, this is a meal, this is not a side dish. This is a meal. It's a high protein, high fiber, low carb, low fat food that helps you lose weight and gain muscle if you're a bodybuilder. Start by testing one or two on yourself because there are a few unhealthy people out there who might have a bad allergic reaction called fauvism, which you wouldn't have if you ate right. The recipe is on page 136 of my book, Heal Yourself 101, which has got all kinds of other recipes of stuff that I actually eat. This is what I actually eat. This is my food. You want muscles? Arr! Eat the fava bean.